man whose 14 year old son brought a loaded gun to Hilltop High School is going to jail, but only for 30 days. Dozens of people showed up to support Zachariah Dow when that sentence was handed down about an hour ago. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is joining us now. And Steve, at one point during today's sentencing, the judge thanked Dow's supporters. He made a point to do that, uh, Kim. He, um, Dow has been a single father now for about eight years, ever since his wife's suicide, and he's built a large support group through sports and other activities. Now, the judge addressed that fact, telling the jury that if not for the, all their letters and so many of them showing for court, Dow would have received a much stiffer sentence. Zachariah Dow wiped tears as he awaited his sentencing on charges of child abuse, possession of a firearm and ammunition by a felon. Moments later, he stood to apologize. I understand full responsibility for my part in this whole situation. I understand the disaster that could have happened. It was last May. Dow's 14-year-old son took a loaded 44 Magnum to Hilltop High School in Chula Vista. He flashed it around, and some students took the threat seriously, reporting it. He showed it to a few people and said that he was, he was going to shoot people, and it had, like, four things loaded. The school and police chose not to call for a lockdown, instead quietly bringing officers on campus and launching a surprise assault, tackling the ninth grader in a computer lab. Some classmates described his reaction to being arrested as strange. He had like a proud smile on his face and it was like weird. Like he looked like proud of what he did. Six months later, his dad is paying the price. I don't know how Mr. Dow could just bury his head in the sand and think that it's okay to put those guns under my bed, out there for my son or my daughter to grab, with the ammunition right there, not even separated. The ammunition was right there with the guns. They were together. And Dow was handcuffed and taken out of the courthouse and over to county jail. He was sentenced to 240 days in jail, although he only has to serve the first 30 days there. Then he has an ankle bracelet applied. He also has four years probation. Live in Chula Vista, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.